Ciao guys, this is Jacopo from GMT. Welcome to our speakeasy. Today we talk about the FP Journ Chronometer Sovereign. The Chronometer Sovereign was launched in 2005. It was the simplest watch in François Paul Journe collection. But it doesn't mean that it was simple to create or that it was less valuable. This attitude doesn't exist in Journe philosophy. On the contrary, we are used to the original and ingenious solution applied to his movements and confirm the exceptional nature of his production. Furthermore, the Calibre 1304 invented for the CS has been the base for an exceptional timepiece, the thinnest minute repeater on the market. The chronometer sovereign proportions are very traditional. The 40mm round case features a slightly rounded bezel, while the crown has an exclusive design with a refined knurling decoration, used to increase the grip, one of the trademark of Jean's creations. The real marvel is visible through the case back, and it's the 13 lines calibre 1304, entirely in 18 karat gold, a feature common to all FP Jean movements after 2004. There is no surprise that Jour named it Chronometer Souverain, literally the king of chronometers, and I'm going to explain you why. Of course, to be a precision chronometer, it must indicate time correctly. Therefore, its force has to be as constant as possible throughout the whole charge. That is why it has two barrels who work in parallel to deliver a stable power during the whole power reserve. The balance wheel doesn't have any ratchet wheel, but its inertia is regulated through weights positioned on the balance wheel itself which also helps to improve the timepiece accuracy. The overall architecture of the movement instantly recalls marine chronometers, with the crown coaxial to the escapement, which is separated from the barrels by a deep groove visible between the bridges. Barrels, escapement and gear train are connected underneath the dial. Another characteristic of the Calibre 1304 is that it built with few elements, only 161 in total. This is because, quoting FP Journ, Less elements requires less energy to move and the accuracy will benefit. The finishes are remarkable. Perlage finished plate at the balance wheel, soleil around the barrels, the bridges are Cote de Genève and the mirror anglage is performed on all elements. Let's move to the dial side. Journe always starts his designs from the dial. That is why we can find here the power reserve indicator at 3 o'clock. In unusual position and extremely difficult to achieve since just underneath there is the winding crown stige. The power reserve indicator, as well as in marine chronometers, indicates how many hours the watch has worked since its winding, which is basically the opposite of every contemporary wristwatch. Through the years, we have seen very few variations of the chronometer sovereign, and today I will show you three of them. The silver was the first released in 2005, and it's the timeless classic time only in FP Journe collection. The dial is made by a layer of silver decorated with a guilloche Clou de Paris motif. Few days ago in Geneva, Journe told us that guillochage is his favorite finishing technique because it reminds him of the watches he loved when he was a young student. Have you noticed that the numerals change size according to their position on the dial? This is an optical effect common in Journe's creations. It allows to have a visual harmony and to never cut the indexes when close to other elements. This watch, exactly as you see it, won the Grand Prix d'Horlogerie de Genève in the same year, and it's still in collection after 16 years. The second chronometer sovereign I'm showing you today is the Havana, named after its particular dial, which color is obtained by assembling gold and ruthenium together. Numerals and hands are painted with ivory color to enhance the contrast with the dial. Paired with a honey-colored alligator strap gives a completely different and more modern look to its predecessor. Last but not least, enclosed in a 40mm rose gold case, there is the special dial with pink mother of pearl inserts on a red gold base finely decorated with Clou de Paris. Journe's dial factory, the Cadernier de Genève, is specialized in working with mother of pearl, from which they are able to produce very thin slices suitable for the production of precious dials. This particular edition is produced in very few examples upon request and exclusively through Jour Boutiques and Espace, like ours. You can see that the Chronometer Sovereign is not just a simple timepiece only, but a small masterpiece of mechanics, design and style. A must-have for Jour collectors and purists of the brand. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Ciao!
cos'è sto schifo? Pamela, ma non dovrebbe essere whisky! Thinner! Thinner! 